what should you do with your Google Classroom courses at the end of the school year? That's what we're going to be discussing in this video. Hi, my name is John Selwash, and I help teachers use technology. Now, I'm logged into my Google Classroom uh, account right now, and you can see I have a lot of classes. We need to clear some of them out. Now, at the end of the school year, you're going to go into your account. You're going to look for the three dots in the top right corner of your course card, and you are going to click the archive button. But don't click it yet. Before you archive your course, there is one very important thing that you need to do. Let's take a look. I'm going to go into this course. And let's take a look at some of the assignments. Now, when you assign something to an, a student, especially if that assignment has an attachment, so if you're sending students Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and if you're using the Make a Copy for Each Student option, when you make a copy, that copy goes in to the student's Google Drive account. When they submit that assignment to you, the ownership of that file is transferred back to you and you become the owner of that document. That's how uh, Google Classroom manages the permissions and that's how it works on the back end. If you do not return the assignments to your students, then you will have those files in your Google Drive account and they will fill up and clutter up your Drive account so that you won't be able to find anything. Imagine not returning work for a year, two, three years. You would have thousands of old student files uh, in your Drive account. So here's an example here. This is a, an assignment um, that I sent to my students and you can see that 15 of them were turned in but I have not graded or returned um, those files. So I need to click into the assignment. I need to select all the students who have turned in their work and click that return button. This will transfer the ownership back to the student and remove those files from my Google Drive account. Now, it can be pretty time consuming to go through your classwork page and do this for every single assignment. So there is a slightly faster way um, that I'd like to show you. Uh, I'm going to click on the hamburger up here in the top uh, right corner of my screen. And we're going to go to this option here that says to do. This is a list of all of the assignments in all of your courses. Uh, it's a little overwhelming, so I'm going to filter it down to just that one class. And here you can see, again, I get this nice list of all the assignments. And what I'm looking for is I want the turned in number to be at zero. Okay, turned in at zero. That's my goal. Uh, so I just did this one right here. Uh, so this one I see I have one uh, document, so I'd have to click. I'd have to go to this student and return their work. And that's typically how it'll be. It'll just be one here, one there, uh, but it adds up over time. So we return that one. Then we're gonna go back to to-do. We'll take a look at that course. You can see now we've got that one uh, finished and we'll just continue down that list until we've got all zeros. Once we're finished, once we've done that, returned all the assignments, then we can go back to our course home screen click that snowman and hit that archive button. Now archiving, of course, freezes it. It puts it in deep freeze, it boxes it up, puts it in the basement. Um, it's still accessible, it's still there, but students can't turn things in, they can't post, they can't comment. It's a historical record. I do not recommend deleting your courses because these courses serve as a historical record of your communication and interactions with students, which is very important uh, that you have. I'm going to go ahead and arch archive it. Now, if you ever want to retrieve an archived course, you can easily do that. We're going to go uh, back to our hamburger up in the top left, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and that's where you'll see the listing for archived classes. Students can do this as well. So when your teacher archives a course, you can always get to it and review your previously submitted work by going into archived classes. Um, so here's a list of all of my courses. Um, there's hundreds of them in here. You can go into them, you can open them, you can review them. 
Uh, you just can't post, remove, edit, um, anything. You can restore it if you want to. It's always great. If you're like, oh, when did I do that assignment last year? You can always look back to see how you sequence things um, and to remind yourself for the current year. So that's my process uh, for closing up courses at the end of the school year. First, I return all the assignments, and then I archive the course.